Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Abul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he expressed Bahrain's strong condemnation of the launch of a ballistic missile attack from Yemen towards Riyadh. The missile was intercepted by the Saudi Royal Air Forces without allowing it to cause any damages. His Majesty the King affirmed that the flagrant attack on the security and safety of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people clashes with international law laws, values and principles. His Majesty reiterated Bahrain's support for all measures taken by Saudi Arabia to safeguard its security and stability. He wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people safety, security, progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has also sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, strongly condemning the Houthi Salah ballistic missile intercepted by the Saudi Air Defense Forces above Riyadh city sky. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reiterated Bahrain's firm support to all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to preserve its security and stability. He wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people security, peace, stability and prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, the King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he strongly condemned the launch of a ballistic missile attack from Yemen towards Riyadh. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reiterated Bahrain's firm support to all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to preserve its security and stability. He wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people security, peace, stability and prosperity on under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he strongly condemned the cowardly attack. He reiterated Bahrain's firm support to all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to preserve its security and stability and wished the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people security, peace, stability and prosperity under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today at the SCW headquarters the Director of Urban Development Programs, member of the Board of Directors of uh, Bunyan Women's Society in Saudi Arabia, and the main speaker in the Bahraini Women in Engineering Conference, Princess Sultana bin Badr bin Saud Al Saud, in the presence of the speaker and participants in the conference and the president and members of the Bahraini Engineers Society Board of Directors. Her Royal Highness welcomed the participants, expressing thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the conference and presidency of the Supreme Supervisory Committee for Bahraini Women's Day 2017, adding that the occasion that the SCW launched in 2008 became one of the most important national events. She noted that formal education for women began in the kingdom since 1927 which paved the way for women to begin their professional march in various domains and prove their presence in them. She added that Bahraini women continued their higher education abroad since the 40s and 50s of the last century. Her Royal Highness highlighted the achievements of the GCC women and the Saudi women in particular and affirmed that any success of Saudi women is a success of the Bahraini women. She stressed the need to enhance communication and exchange expertise and affirmed the readiness of the SCW to exchange experiences with Arab countries in order to achieve the strategic goal of women empowerment. Princess Sultana bint Badr bin Saud Al Saud praised the capabilities of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of supporting women and the role of women in enhancing the progress and prosperity of the country. She hailed the appointing of National Day of Bahraini Women by the SCW in which it reflects the contributions of the Bahraini women to the march of the kingdom. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the, fi the firing of a ballistic missile by the coup militias in the Yemeni Republic at King Khalid International Airport in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, in a flagrant attack that clearly reflects the lack of seriousness of these militias in reaching a peaceful settlement of the Yemeni crisis and their continuation of conspiracies that aim to destabilize security and peace in the region. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs commends the efforts of Saudi Arabia's defense forces in responding to the attack and stresses the firm position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in support of the Bradley Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against all threats to its security and its efforts to deter any attempts that aim to undermine peace and stability in its lands, supporting all measures Saudi Arabia takes to maintain its security. Due to the current circumstances and developments in the Republic of Lebanon, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs requests all citizens of the Kingdom of Bahrain currently present in the Republic of Lebanon to leave immediately and with utmost care and caution. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also stresses that all citizens should not travel to the Republic of Lebanon at all for the sake of their safety in order to avoid encountering any risks as a result of these developments. For help and assistance, please contact the following numbers. The Nationality, Passport and Residence Affairs announced that Bahrainis in Qatar should use their passports to move between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the state of Qatar. It is worth mentioning that any other document won't be accepted at the Kingdom ports in case of departure or arrival from Qatar. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the official sponsors of the Merida Pro Cycling Team. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the achievements of the team during the first participation in international cycling competitions in Spain and Italy. He said that the team fulfilled the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa by honoring and promoting Bahrain in international forums. His Honor Sheikh Nasser highlighted the media coverage of Bahrain's participation in local and international media, adding that the focus now will be the participation of the team in the Tour de France 2017. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain will be organizing one of this international races rounds, which will attract more attention to Bahrain, thus contributing to benefiting the Kingdom. His Honor Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to institutions and companies from the private sector for sponsoring the team and contributing to making this accomplishment. He also commended the contributions of national companies to supporting the development of the sports in the kingdom. The Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team began its first World Tour season this January. In this short time, the team has managed to make history as the first ever team to stand on two winning podiums in their first year of competing. I think another amazing achievement uh, from His Royal Highness Sheikh Nasser. In a very short time, they were capable of raising this team's uh, name up in the international events and Bahrain's name, of course. I think it's very important that all the Bahraini national companies are participants in this 
and there's a lot to look forward to. These are only the first six months. So it's, uh, it's been an amazing achievement so far. So all the congratulations to the Royal Highness and to the team and the people working on Bahrain Merida. First of all, you know, I'd like to congratulate the entire team Merida for what a wonderful performance from, from the beginning. And we had, we had the hopes, we had the confidence, you know, with, under the able leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad. You know, we knew this team was going to reach heights. But they have performed well and we are very proud, we are very humbled. And we want to say thank you to be associated to such a great team and such a great uh, uh, vision. The team sponsors and fans are all thrilled at what the team has achieved and are looking forward to future victories. This is indeed a great success for the Kingdom of Bahrain and is making a name for the Kingdom in the world of pro cycling. Well, I think the team's achievements speak for themselves. Uh, in the first year of operations, for them to place in the podium in both the Giro Italia uh, in the third position and in Spain in the second position is a wonderful achievement. I think we heard today that it's the first time that a team in its first year of operations is on the podium in two of the major um, cycling races in Europe. That's a fantastic achievement. Of course, as a sponsor, uh, the EDB has a role of promoting the country and attracting investment and creating awareness about Bahrain. And cycling is a growing sport. Um, obviously, with these achievements, the name of Bahrain is prominent. We've promoted both the Ours Yours Bahrain and the Business Friendly Bahrain um, and, uh, you know, uh, logos. And I think to have that visibility in sports is proven to raise awareness. And I think we're, we're delighted to be part of a successful team. We did great in promoting Bahrain. Bahrain as a brand received multiple return of investment where we invested into team through the media coverage. We, we got... We don't have the results for the whole year so far, but in a half year we, we have three times more than what we invested. So return of investment is great even now, let alone that we get research for the end of the year. Uh, and all our sponsors should be happy because they also got really great return. But Bahrain as a brand or Bahrain as a country is now, uh, he's, been, he's been talking about all over the world. The Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team has certainly made history this past year and will continue to do so with the support of its sponsors, fans and supporters. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the retired General Ahmed Yusuf Shah, Faisal Rahman and Adil Yusuf from Pakistan at his office in El Wadi Palace to discuss methods of cooperation to develop the mixed martial arts sports in the Middle East through promoting the sports in the kingdom. He added that Bahrain has developed tremendously since creating the KHK MMA team and establishing the International Brave Organization, expressing hope that the event would witness a wide participation to continue the march of success. Zainas highlighted the bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and Pakistan, affirming the kingdom's keenness to increase the fields of cooperation. For his part, the Utai General Ahmed Yusuf Shah expressed pleasure in His Highness's wish to develop the sport, hailing His Highness's vision of establishing the organization and thanking him for all he provides for to serve the sports. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Zana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited a number of sports clubs in the presence of President of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Kareth Brown, President of BMMAF, Colonel Khalid Abdul Aziz Al Khayyad, and CEO of KHK MMA, Mohammed Shahid. Brave Week will be held next week under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Azhan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Azhan Sheikh Khalid praised the role of clubs in developing the MMA sport. He was briefed on the strategy plans to attract fighters. He hailed the efforts of the clubs to highlight the sport, host the championship, and enhance the status of the kingdom. He also noted that this sport combines many set of skills, which is an opportunity for fighters to develop their abilities.
Delegated by Her Royal Highness to the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa has inaugurated the Bahraini Women in Engineering Conference 2017, themed Bahraini Women in Engineering, Sustainability of National Accomplishment towards Global Competitiveness. The conference was inaugurated today in Isa Cultural Center, co-organized by the Supreme Council of Women in association with the Bahrain Society of Engineering as one of the main activities on the sidelines of the Bahraini Women's Day and dedicated this year to celebrate the Bahraini women in the engineering vacations. Sheikh Khalid expressed gratitude and appreciation to Her Royal Highness for consenting to patronize this conference and tasking him to open it on behalf of Her Royal Highness. The Deputy Prime Minister said that the initiative of Her Royal Highness of dedicating the Bahraini Women's Day this year in honor of the Bahraini women in the engineering profession is one of the achievements of the Bahraini women in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his government under the premiership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and in the light of the efforts of the Supreme Council of Women that translate the vision of the wise leadership regarding the support of women and boosting their contribution in the nation's development and prosperity and boosting boosting the status of women and their qualifications to compete with their counterparts internationally. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the Bahrain Society of Engineers organized a conference entitled Bahraini Women and Engineering, Sustainability of Achievements on a National Basis Towards International Competitiveness. Identifying the uh, theme of engineering, engineer women for uh, celebrating Bahraini Women Year is uh, by itself recognition of the uh, profession the engineering as, as, as a discipline, as a profession, as, as a way of life uh, for, for uh, all of us. And uh, putting that in mind, uh, our fellow uh, ladies, engineers, are, are uh, recognized by that. It's an honor for us. And uh, during this year, we had many activities to celebrate the, the engineers, the women engineers in Bahrain and the society. And this is for us as Bahrain Society of Engineers is the climax. We saw that uh, our colleague, the, the, the woman engineer, do not hesitate to enter into those uh, difficult uh, uh, sections of the field. I mean, we saw them in, in as you saw the, the, the uh, photo uh, exhibition here, you saw them in, in their uh, fit, fit and uh, their uh, everywhere in the field. The event is part of the major side events of Bahraini Women's Day 2017 that is being held to recognize the contributions of Bahraini women in engineering. They want to see how women are working in the field with uh, uh, men engineers and uh, they want us to share this with uh, young ages. We actually, uh, at the beginning of the year, we went to schools. We were encouraging girls to go to uh, engineering field and they were having many questions and we were answering them and uh, we made them more getting more interested in it. The conference aims to highlight the potential opportunities available in the engineering field and the labor market needs. It is in addition to shedding light on the role of professional associations in this field and the motivation required by Bahraini women engineers for additional international participation. And uh, also uh, they announced that there's going to be a conference between uh, Bahrain uh, Women's uh, Supreme Council and uh, with the different ministries that are having women engineers and at the same time with the contribution with the Bahrain Society of Engineers. So we were one of the people who were doing the exhibition. We came and prepared for it and uh, at the same time we wanted to divide it in uh, three sectors. We were focusing about the first engineers who contributed in engineering in Bahrain from uh, 1970 to 1990 and then we went from 2000 till uh, 2010 and then we are taking uh, current the future uh, women engineers uh, in different fields actually in uh, uh, civil in uh, architecture, in uh, electricity, uh, 
um, all of them are very important, actually. This is Sarah Barek reporting for Bahrain International. The Shura Council today held its weekly meeting headed by its council's chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh in which it strongly condemned the serious provocation of launching a ballistic missile attack from Yemen towards a city north of Saudi Arabia considering it a rejection of any form of dialogue. The council affirmed its full support to Saudi Arabia and all the measures that protect its borders and security. The council approved the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee recommendation of rejecting a draft law on amending a number of provisions of the Commercial Companies Law. The council also approved a proposal of amending a number of provisions of the panel code issued in a decree law number 15 of 1976 and referred it to the government. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. Let's talk with local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,277.54 points, marking a decrease of 5.32 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 54% of total shares. 58 transactions included 2,290,567 shares worth 464,132 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 